Antelope folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you a fake item from Wish. There are so many available from pretty much every single memory card that exists. Sure, if you get a memory card, it says that it is, it reads that it is, but if you notice, if you try and exceed usually 8 gigabytes, try and run the file. See if it's there, fully. Fill up the memory card with a video. See if you can play the entire video. Put a bunch of songs on it and see how many it keeps. But there are so many more, such as cell phones, dollars, coins, any kind of electronic whatsoever. Pretty much if the price is too good to be true on Wish, it is. This phone in particular, let me uh, adjust my microphone here. Alright, so. Alright, that should be good. Uh, Given this phone right here, I purchased this phone. I got a refund for it, mind the way. And they don't ask for this back, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. This supposedly was a P40 Plus. Did not say a brand name, but I didn't really care. I was getting it for my dad for a couple reasons. One, it was a 4G, 5G phone, and his phone is like four years old. This one has thumbprint identification, facial recognition, it has a great deal of space, it's got powerful cameras on the back. But let's get to the, the nitty gritty of it. If we open this up, it's got an app permission thing right there. When you first boot up the phone for the first time, it says that everything has permissions. It doesn't matter what you run, it will say, hey, this is good to go. You can even run viruses and it will take it. So you can easily turn that off. But if you notice down at the bottom, that doesn't seem like, you know, it's any time recent. It said that it was an Android, you know, 10 operating system. It also said that it was a DecaCore processor. Well, from the research I did, according to the specs it is, let's go into the settings, shall we? We go into the settings, we scroll all the way down to system. Click system, click about phone, and then look, it says it's a model number, P40 Pro, and MTK. 6799 as the CPU Android 10 those three things right there RAM 8 gigs ROM read only memory of 512 I didn't I'm not even gonna bother testing the memory on there because I honestly don't care uh, but I sure the hell know it isn't 512 gigs it's probably gonna be like 8 as I mentioned before it is a dual sim however but you notice, as I said, it's a DecaCore 6799 MTK and that it's Android 10. But if we do the intelligent thing, if you know how to, um, I'm going to power this off. Actually, I'm just going to hit reboot and hit it again, but hold the volume down and the power button. And so while we're holding the power button and the volume down, we're going to see something amazing. The true contents of the phone. I believe it's called the bootloader. So while it's booting into this, I also found a way to break the phone already, but managed to get it back up and running. Oh look, factory mode. So this is essentially the glorious stuff, but you see down there where it says version. I gotta get this right in the center of the screen. There we go, version. Now we're gonna hit the uh, down arrow all the way to version and hit the power button. Boop. Oh wait, no, sorry. No, that was right. Now if we look at the top, the processor is not the 6799 or whatever the hell it says. It says it's an MT6570 and the motherboard is a P40 Pro, but that's a lie. The P40 Pro thing anyway, but you can make that say anything. You see the processor is not the correct one and you go down to Android version. Android version's actually 6.0. They used a custom ROM in order to fake the Android 10, which means none of the stuff that it says it has is real. And I will demonstrate that in just a moment. After I uh, um, get out of this, we go down, reboot. So once it goes back in there, I'm going to show you the glorious world of, uh, well, it's fingerprint security identification. It came with a lovely little rubber cover. I mean, that's pretty nice. But, I mean, who the hell cares about that? Now, 
and it's got all this re it's got a reset hole a glorious thing that you can just penetrate there and reset your phone it also factory resets if you hold it long enough it's got all this glorious warning when completely out of battery power blah 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 so it's almost done booting i mean for a fantastic phone this takes for freaking ever Oh, at permission. So now we're going to go into security. We're going to go into the world of... Where is it? Volume. Ah, security and location. Whoops, I'm holding it upside down. I'm the smart. No, I was holding it right side up. Why is it... Hmm, for some reason it thinks the phone is on its side. Let's go back to the main page and try this again. Settings. Scroll down to security. Security. We have screen lock, swipe, fingerprint, identification. So normally what you do is you would hit continue on this screen. And then it says set up your backup screen, add your fingerprint, set up. So now we're just going to go, oh yeah, we're going to, uh, it rotated again because it's smart. We're going to hit it for pin, and then we're just going to use a 1111. That's fine, 1111. This is legitimate. Obviously, it's the typical pin thing that's been around in Android since the beginning of time. And then uh, show all notification content, don't really care. And then now it says to put your fingerprint on the glorious screen. And that's this right here, and we'll go boop, 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 boop. But wait, why is it working so well? <gasps> it's done. We now have a fingerprint. Okay, so we hit the done button, and then let's lock the screen, and then bring it back up. So you saw that I used my index finger. What if I use my pinky? Whoops. Pinky. Nope. Uh, uh. Pinky unlocked it. What? How is that possible? But wait, there's more! I just unlocked it with my tongue! Isn't that amazing? It's a fake fingerprint thing as well. I mean, there is so much wrong with this that people are getting fooled by because, well, they don't have the knowledge. But the honest thing is... <laughs> ah, perfect! So, I just shattered the back of this, this phone. I mean, I, I'm not even kidding. I shattered the back of the phone. The reason why is I was hoping to do this. So here, here is the glorious thing of the camera. But if you notice, there's only one hole. Why is that? That doesn't make sense. Well, because if you look at the back, all these cameras, all five of them, plus one, come on, focus. All five of you, you saw it the first time is that there are so many lenses on this thing. Guess what? There is only one on the back of this phone at all. And that glorious like flash that it has. Let's see. Can I, is the phone still working? Oh yes. Yes. It is still working to an extent. I kind of shattered the screen as well. Don't really care. But as you can see, we're going to, uh, rip open this m piece of poop and take a look at what we've got inside so this is the inside of that glorious thing minus what i have broken so far hence the word so far ah there we go we've got a little speaker blah 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 but that's not what i'm interested in i'm interested in ah, this battery let's see what we've got first of all we should probably you know Disconnect. Oh, it, it does not disconnect. So we're just going to break it. There. Now there's no longer any power to this thing. Uh, what can I use here? I've got a wide array of things. Uh, don't try this at home. Uh, lithium batteries are very dangerous. I mean, very, very dangerous. What I am doing is stupid. But it's what I do best. So, I mean, it's not like the battery's bad or anything. But we're trying to get down into all the glorious stuff that's in here. And I don't care about it's anything else. Oh, come on. It's going to make me uh, take apart too much. 
But, you know what? You get the idea. That this thing is fake. It's not even worth, like, five bucks. It has none of the features it says it does. And it's a piece of junk. They charged $100 for this on Wish. The technology inside of this thing is so freaking old that it's not even worth 20 bucks. You can get something better for 20 bucks off of eBay. But this is just one of the examples of how Wish is fucked up. They allow so many things to be sold, and then they charge an exorbitant shipping price for everything. Given the fact, Wish is not bad if you want to purchase uh, clothes, stuffed animals, and other stuff, as long as you search for the, the lowest price of those items. You'll notice the difference in the same ones that show up, but do not hesitate to contact Wish Support and say, hey, this is a fake item. Don't break it before you do it. Um, they will usually ask for a picture of the item. You send them a picture. They'll ask for um, the, uh, the packaging, usually. In this case, this was a package within a package. It was sent to the U.S., and then someone from the U.S. just literally took that package, crammed it in an envelope, and mailed it to me. And, well, it only took me, like, you know... 10 minutes to find out that this thing was absolute bogus but i wish you luck on your purchases on wish i don't trust anything name brand i don't trust anything electronic unless it's like you know uh, a cat toy or something of the sort do not purchase your tablets your phones your memory cards do not purchase anything that actually serves a purpose for your daily life from wish that is electronic it's all a lie all of it is a lie it's a freaking lie so i hope this video helped you out i will catch you all in the next video i end up doing maybe i might get something else from wish and decide to break it but other than that if you folks enjoyed this please hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more if this helped you make your decision on wish of whether you're going to buy it or not comment below and let me know what your experience with wish is i will see you all next time thanks for watching